so oh my god okay so don't tell me i'm leaning on them okay. <laughs> we make the streets louder So hey, what's up, what's up, Z-Gang? So welcome again to a new video. Apparently, this video is being done in upcountry because I decided to come to upcountry and spend my weekend over here. And uh, it's going to be a good one because uh, today I'm going to be teaching you something about Mira, which is like, it's like, uh, how can I call it? Is it like cash crop really? No. Okay, for instance, the way people of Moranga plant tea and coffee, they kind of sell them so for us we kind of do have like mirror if you're Berian, at least you should have like mirror in your shamba because it's at least something almost everyone does have in their shamba so if you can look at this so so clearly for instance now this you're supposed to like cut this part you can chop off this part so this is an eating part in cut okay all this but now this is a crazy part if you have to harvest cut you look at those or oh, those are to be eaten so what you do is uh, you're supposed to come in the shamba early in the morning like around uh, okay depends with the type depends with how much mirror you have so if you have so much and you want to harvest a lot at times you might be required to be up by around uh, let's say by five so that you can be able to harvest according to how much you according to how much money you want so maybe if you want like over five thousand you might need like five basins so because at times a basin can go to for a thousand shillings at times I realized something okay so when i was here like that that was like two months ago this hadn't happened so this is the thing if you look closely let me show you something i'm gonna zoom out so if you just check this is the cutting of the big stem that took place and uh my mom left the, the the smaller ones the reason as to why you do this is because considering right now in a country it's kind of more of a dry season you don't want to be providing the the stems with the water and then the bigger stem is taking lots of water so what you do is you chop off the bigger stem and then you leave the smaller one so that if you have to like provide water for the stem for the for the mirror the smaller the smaller stems have like much water to consume rather than the bigger ones spending because uh the height of this was like was almost my size like that's how big it you are because even if you look at the stem that was like a big chunk of mirror like a, a mirror tree so actually it's no one there are actually so many is that one there this this other one so it kind of grows to a bigger place to a bigger point such that she had to cut them so oh my god so this is crazy so these are some of the branches some of the stems which were cut so if you can look at it that's like a big one and uh, I'm, I'm really not gonna talk a lot but i'm gonna try to educate you more and more and more and more so you're supposed to come and harvest this but then the crazy part about it you're supposed to harvest it and arrange them in an orderly manner you see when you look at them it's not like uh, the cut for you see cut for meru is like longer sticks like this tall so cuts for meru it's like longer than this so for them it's not as hard as for us harvesting because first you have to harvest in such a manner that you pick them yeah and you have to arrange them in your hand till it's a big pile yeah and then you have to put them in a smaller basin like you know those washing utensils basin like you have to put them there and you have to arrange like the bottom layer and the top layer so this is a crazy other part about mirror yeah okay so the crazy part about mirror is this the same same basin that can be bought at a thousand bob over the rainy seasons it's bought at 50 shillings that that's how crazy this can be 
it's not easy then this is a funny thing so we've had cut for the longest I can remember yeah since I was a child eh? but never never ever in my life ever tasted it because okay I ever tasted and then I was like mm -mm. I don't feel like it, it tastes good for me to chew because it doesn't add up it doesn't look at this look at that doesn't add up for me how do you even chew this how it's not even sweet it's no I'm not gonna lie it's not sweet yeah so these are the star the twigs you're supposed to eat yeah so if you can check all of them are like almost same sizes but it runs up to over that side whereby you see the over the mango tree so and uh, on this other top side but apparently now on the top side she didn't cut the bigger chunks of mirror she kind of let them stay and uh, yeah so let's see this okay so if you kind of realize now some of these stems are so big eh? yeah you look at that that is like almost my height and apparently it was longer than that but it had to be chopped off like yeah so this is how big this end up to be so going up to all that other corner all that is cut going down up to that other mango tree all that is cut so extending to that other further corner on the mango tree that is cut as well up to that other mango tree over that side so it's quite a lot so that's that's the cool thing about me but then over the dry season it gets so hectic because you have to you're supposed to like get so much water for them so that it can be able to so that it, i don't know should i use a word give bad no so that it can be able to the stems can be able to shoot you, you understand it so so it kind of works so i'm gonna wind the vlog here so okay let me introduce you to one of my buddies hey scooby scooby <laughs> <laughs> Scooby, hello, hello, Scooby, hi, hello. <laughs> so, he's one of my favorite Scooby. Hello, hello. Hello, say hi to me. Hello, hello. She, she's the coolest dog ever. Hello, say hi to me. Say hi. Hi, Scooby. Shame on you. So, I'm gonna wind the vlog here. And uh, if you guys did love it, if you like cats, so if you guys love cats, make an effort of smashing. Yeah, let's smash this. So, Let's see you bye boom